I'm going to show you how to create a SMB network file share on a Microtik router. The model that I'm using is the HAPAC. To store the content for the network file share, I'm using a USB flash drive. So I just plug that in there to the side of the router. The first thing to do is prepare your flash drive by formatting it, which I've already done. Next, I'm going to create a folder on here called Share. And this folder is going to store all of the content for the Share drive. Um, without creating this folder, if you just uh, point to the USB drive specifically within Microtik, your map network drive is going to have the system volume information you know, in this directory for your map network drive. So I like creating this folder and pointing specifically to the Share folder to store everything. Next, go into your Microtik into the Files section. Within Files, you can see I recognize my USB flash drive as USB 1, so that's the disk here. At the end of the list, the directory showing is USB 1 slash share. So that is the folder on the flash drive that I created, and that's also the file path I'm going to point to in the SMB configuration on the Microtik to store everything for the shared drive. To configure SMB, go to IP, SMB, Shares, and then Add New. I'm going to put Public as the name. So whatever you put here is going to show up as the name of your shared drive when you map it. So I want mine to be called Public. Under directory, I'm going to put USB 1 slash share. So this is the location on your Microtik where all the content is going to be stored. After doing that, make sure it's enabled. Click Apply, click OK, Close. And then we're going to enable SMB. So to do that, click Enabled, click Apply. After doing all of that, your Network Shared Drive is available. It should show up on your network computers. Next is managing the access and the users. So you can choose to allow guest access, which I'm going to do for the demonstration. To manage users, go to Users. So the list of users will appear here. The username is in the Name tab. To add a new user, go to Add New. Uh, the default user is guest, which is what I'm going to use. So within guest, um, you would put the password here. Uh, I'm going to make this account without a password. You can choose to uh, make a particular user read only if you wanted to. Uh, so when you're done here, make sure it's enabled. Click apply, click OK, and close. And now you have a user that can access your share drive. Uh, one thing to note about the share drives on Microtake, as I'm making this video, it doesn't support Active Directory. So these are only local accounts that you have to create, which you could do um, in the terminal or with the script if you wanted to make a lot of them. Next, I'm going to create a DNS record so that I can access the share drive with a DNS name rather than the IP address. To do that, go to DNS, Static, Add New. The DNS record I'm going to call share.lan. And the address is going to point to the router. Click Apply, OK, and Close. For DNS to work, uh, just make sure that your router is listed as the first DNS server here and that your computers are using the router as a DNS server. After doing all of that, the configuration for SMB is done on Microtik. Now we can see what it looks like mapping the shared drive on a Windows computer. So I'm going to right click this PC map network drive. In the folder, I'm going to type share 
Lan, which is the domain name I created for the router. And next, I'm going to put public, which was the name of the shared folder. Click Finish, and just like that, your shared drive is created. And um, it might ask you to log into the shared drive, too, with the username and password. So next, I'm going to demonstrate moving some files onto the shared drive. So I'm going to move this picture, I'm going to do the video, and then I'm going to move this PDF, and then I have a VLC installation file too that I'm going to move onto the shared drive. And I've noticed with uh, some files, I mean maybe around a gigabyte or even less than that, sometimes this file status screen will uh, freeze on here or at least not show you the status. But if you go on uh, the Microtech router itself, it will update the status here. Uh, but just something to keep in mind if you're using Windows, the status might not always show. Uh, now within your files directory, you can see all of the uh, items that are uploaded on your file share and you can delete them and manage them here. Okay, so next we'll go into the file share to see the files that we transferred. So I'm going to start by opening this picture here. And you can see that works just fine. Next I'm going to open a PDF. And it didn't take too long to download all of that. Uh, I am doing all these transfers over Wi-Fi. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can see it did that fairly quickly, all 40 pages of this PDF. Next, I'm going to try and install some software off of the shared drive. So in this case, it's VLC Media Player. Okay, so VLC uh, installed just fine. Uh, next, I'm going to play this video file with VLC. Okay, and it looks like some of the frames are skipping around on here. Um, that's just because of the, the team viewer remote session that I'm using here, but on the actual Windows computer, I can see that it's, it's actually playing very smoothly. Uh, so that's how you set up a shared drive, um, on your Microtik. Um, one thing to note is that when I was, uh, transferring files, I did see the CPU usage go up and, uh, earlier I tested moving, uh, a larger, ISO file and um, on this particular model it actually caused it to reboot uh, so something to think about it's not exactly like a high performance share drive but it's definitely a decent share drive uh, for home use uh, 